Okay guys, good morning. It's a lovely sunny day. Welcome to Villa Molino. Again, cooped up in this house all by myself. Wish you were here, wish you were here. Today, classic, classic Bolognese. Bolognese sauce. Comes from the north of Italy, Bologna region. Right, so there's a zillion Bolognese recipes. Everybody claims theirs is the best and blah, blah, blah. They're all pretty good, they're all pretty good. I'm not saying mine is the best, but it's pretty decent. And I'm gonna let you into my formula for a good Bolognese. Right, mise en place here, we got mise en place. We're gonna do this in sections. So part one, mise en place, we have one kilo of uh, minced beef, one kilo of minced beef, one kilo of minced pork. You can do all beef if you want, but you want to make sure the beef is really fatty because you don't want to end up the, the beef being too dry. I do half and half beef and pork. So one kilo of beef, one kilo of minced pork. We have three garlic, three onions. Are you getting this? Three onions, medium size. Woo. Uh, six garlic. Six uh, sticks of celery. Uh, what's up, duck? Right. Okay. Now we have half a bottle of red wine. Two kilos of meat. Two kilos of Italian pomodori pelati. Italian peeled plum tomatoes. Watch my lips. Peeled plum tomatoes from Italy. Every supermarket has them. Right. We need a little boost for the tomato. We have tomato puree or tomato concentrate. This is a little one from Cheerio. These are quite handy, 70 grams, very handy. You don't have to open it and close it. You just use the whole lot. A little bit of oregano and some bay leaves. Right, this is a mise en place. The vegetables need to be cut, not too fine, bolognese. You want to see the vegetables, you want to taste the vegetables, so it's going to be coarse cut. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, back in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to do stage one. We have the vegetables coarsely chopped. We've got our carrots, onions, celery, and six cloves of garlic. Look at that, coarsely chopped. Are you getting this? Focus, focus. All right, so we're going to start. Stage one, olive oil. You can be generous with the oil if you want. Olive oil, nice and sizzle. Start with the garlic, get it to sizzle. Start with the garlic. Coming up, can you hear it sizzle? Okay, don't need to wait too long, don't need to wait too long. Then we got the onions. Then we saute the onions. Just let it all come up so you're not putting cold vegetables in the pot. Let it come up to the sizzle. Okay, can you hear Can you hear the sizzle? It's calling. It's calling. All right, guys. All right, so put the garlic and onions. Now it's sizzling, back up to temperature. Put the carrots and the celery. All right, all going in, all going in. Right. What have we got? What have we got? We've got onions, carrots, garlic, celery, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt just to get the, the natural juices out from the vegetables. It makes them sweat better. We can adjust later. I just put a little bit. We're gonna need more later. Can you hear that sizzle? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, four bay leaves, four bay leaves. Bay leaf. Four bay leaves going in there. Okay, oh, one flew out. Here we go. Okay, that's gonna sweat down. I'm gonna cut out in a minute. What we're gonna do this, we're gonna sweat it down. Vegetables gonna start getting nice and soft. All the flavors gonna combine. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these vegetables out. We're gonna take the vegetables out, put it on the side. Then we're gonna do the meat, okay? This is the best way to do bolognese. Don't just throw everything in a pot and you'll get mismatched. You can take the vegetables out, do the meat, 
put the tomato, put the vegetables back in. All right, so I'm gonna cut back to when the vegetables are done. Okay, what have we got? We've taken the vegetables out from the pot. They're, they're half cooked, they're sweaty, look at that. Can you see all the still, still in pieces, right? So we've got the pot, it's still hot. In we go, in we go with the beef. Nice and sizzle, 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 sizzle. In we go with the pork. Can you see that sizzle? That's what we want. Now we don't want to be scrunching all that up with the vegetables, so we keep the vegetables on the side. When the beef's cooked, we put the wine, we put the tomato, we put the puree, then we put the vegetables back in and we just leave it alone, leave it alone. Okay, so that's coming to a sizzle now. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Got the pork and the beef mixed together. Okay, that's gonna take a minute. I'll come back to you when it comes to the uh, wine. Okay, so what we've done, we've, sweat, we've put the meat in the oil, the pork, the beef, and it's getting a nice color. A little bit of olive oil, can you see that? Okay, now we just put the, the red wine. So we got half a bottle of red wine. Here we go, turn, turn the heat up. Half a bottle of red wine. Okay, so now we gotta do the same again. You wanna cook that out now. So, I'm gonna come back to you when the wine's cooked out, then we gotta add the tomato. Back in a minute. Okay, next stage, what we've done, we've cooked the wine out, the wine has evaporated, all the alcohol's gone, nice sizzle on the, on the beef. You don't want the beef to get color uh, brown on the outside, you just want it to sweat a little bit. Right, next step, we've got the tomato puree. We're gonna put the tomato puree in there. That gives it a nice deep red color and also a nice deep tomato flavor. Okay, so we're just stirring in the tomato puree, maximum heat, maximum heat. That's just going to sizzle out. Wow, it's coming along nicely. Now what we've got here, we're going to keep this for a minute. What we've got here is we've got two kilos of Italian peeled plum tomatoes. They come in big chunks like that, so what you do is you just put your hand in there and you scrunch the tomatoes just to break them up just to break them up a little bit. The only way to do it is by hand. You put your hand in there, you scrunch the tomatoes, scrunch the tomatoes. So you get the tomatoes like a coarse, a coarse sauce like that. Nice, rustic, rustic Italian style. The tomatoes have been scrunched up by hand. Okay, so we've got the tomato puree in there. That's just cooking out, cooking out, cooking out. So now we've, we've done the wine. We've done the puree, the vegetables are here. Next step, put the tomato sauce, bring the tomato sauce up to the boil, then we put the vegetables and a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of oregano. Okay, tomato sauce, in it goes. Okay. Okay, so we put the Italian peeled plum tomatoes in there. Two kilos meat, two kilos tomato. We can put a little bit of water. About 200, 200 gram of water just to help it along. I would say maybe three, 300 gram water, 400 gram water. That was about half a liter, half a liter of water, yeah. Okay, so now we've got the tomatoes in there. It's all gone cold. So we're gonna bring it up to the boil, back in a minute. Okay, what have we got? We've got the tomato come up to the boil. Now's the time, we just finish it off and we leave it. So we put the vegetables in. We put all the vegetables in. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This is gonna be the best bolognese. And there's no one here to taste it. Okay, we got some nice, a little bit of oregano. A little bit, don't go overkill on the oregano. Okay, so now we just season a bit more salt. You gotta season with the salt as you go along, but always put less because you don't wanna just chuck in a load of salt right at the end. You wanna season as you go along. Right, now that's all come together. What do you do now? Leave it. Okay guys, sorry, I had to cut that out unexpectedly because the phone rang, can you believe it? The phone rang when we were filming. So what have we done? We put the vegetables in, we put the wine in, we put everything in, right? What do you do now? Put the cover on, turn it down to number one, and leave it. Two hours, three hours, check it every 15, 20 minutes, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. So we got the nice, this is 
how it should look. You got that? Okay, so put the lid on, turn it down to number one, leave it, check it every 20 minutes. This should cook maybe two hours, two and a half hours. I'll let you know as we get as we go along. Any questions you have, just email me direct, Villa Molino Cookery Club at gmail.com. Any questions, Villa Molino Cookery Club at gmail.com. I'm coming back to you in two hours. Take care. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Bolognese. Three hours cooking. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, oh, madre mia, madre mia. Will you look at that? Look at this. Can you see the color? Oh, I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Can you see the color of that? Look at that. That is three hours bolognese. It's so heavy. Right. Look at this. Look at this. We're gonna stir it. Look at that. We're gonna stir it. We can see the pieces of carrot. We can see the pieces of onion. We can see the pieces of celery. That's what you want, it's a bolognese. It's not a ragu, it's a bolognese. Look at that, look at that. How am I gonna show you? I'm gonna show you. Look at that bolognese. Color, texture. Can you see, can you see? Can you see the carrots? Can you see the celery? Look at that. Are you, are you watching? Are you watching? That is the best bolognese you can make. Half beef, half pork. That's my choice. I'm not saying it should be that way. That's my choice. That has got to sit now. The best time to eat this, it's just finished cooking. Best time to eat this tomorrow. Not today. Make the bolognese the day before. I'm telling you, heat it up tomorrow, it will be 10 times better. So there we have it. Bolognese sauce. Ciao.